Joe here with the Rideshare Guy and today we're going to show you how to text your Uber passenger. And be sure to stick around the end because we'll discuss some examples of when you should send your passenger a message. So sending your passenger a message is the easiest way to communicate with them without actually calling. Um, and it has evolved over the years. In the early days it used to be you would send an actual SMS text message and now today it's all in-app messaging. And with in-app messaging it's easier than ever to send your, your passenger a message. So in-app messaging is now the default way to send your passenger a message. But if you would like to send them a text message there is still a way to do that. But let's jump in and take a look. We can sh we'll show you in-app messaging and we'll also show you that workaround, that way to still send a text message. So immediately after you've accepted a request, you have the option to send your passenger a message. And you can do that by selecting the rider notified box at the bottom there. Then on this screen, you'll select that top right clipboard icon. And then on this screen, you'll just select the contact button. The messaging screen will open and you can send your message. Now there's a few canned messages there, or you can also type a custom message if you prefer. Now we'll split screen and show you what it looks like from the driver's perspective and the passenger's perspective. The driver app is on the left and the passenger app is on the right. And both phones used here are iPhones, but this should look similar on Android. We'll send the canned message, I have arrived. Now the passenger has opened their messaging screen. They respond with be right there. I respond with another canned message, okay, got it. And the cool thing with messaging too is there's read receipts. So you can see when the passenger and driver have read the messages that have been sent. All right, so also here on the messaging screen, you can see that top right phone icon. That's if you wanna make a call. Now you can use this if you wanna send a text message, you can use this number. So you'll select that phone icon, you'll make the call, and you'll end the call immediately. Then you can go to your recent calls list. You'll go to that number that you just called, select the info for that number, and from here you can just select message. We'll type the text message just arrived. The passenger responds with okay thanks. And that's how you can still send a text message if you prefer that method. So that's how you send an in-app message or a text message if you still prefer that method. Now what are some scenarios where you would actually want to send a message? Um, for me personally, there are a couple of scenarios. One is a little bit more infrequent, the other one is, uh, is more frequent, but the infrequent one is when say I'm stuck in traffic or say I'm stopped by a train or something. Um, I will send my passenger a message letting them know I'm stuck in traffic or I'm stopped. And the other scenario, and that's more frequent, is when I, when I arrive at a passenger's pickup location, if they're not visible, if they're not outside, um, I will send them a message right away. Now, the app does notify them when I've arrived, but I want a dual notification. So I want that notification to go out and I also want to send them a message letting them know that I've arrived. Most of the time passengers will respond to those in-app messages. It makes everything easier just to have everything in-app. Yes, granted calls still are made outside of the app, but that messaging is the easiest way to communicate with passengers. It's right there in-app, it's right there in the driver app, it's right there in the passenger app. But what do you think of in-app messaging? Uh, or do you still use text messages? Um, what are some scenarios where, you're, where you'll contact a passenger and what methods do you use to contact your passengers? Um, if you haven't subscribed to the Rideshare Guy channel, please subscribe. We post new videos every single week. Thanks again for watching and drive safe. Thanks.